If you've ever typed fishing gear into the search bar of Amazon, you have been greeted with a plethora of projects that, quite frankly, you never really have heard of before, and the prices on them are staggeringly low. Now, on my channel, I have reviewed a couple of these products over the years, and I gotta say, the quality control is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you find something that's good, sometimes you find something that is not that great. Well, today, I am happy to announce that I have found a gem, a rose among the thorns, so to speak. I found a cheap little spinning reel on Amazon that actually is really awesome. Here's, and I gotta say, the quality control is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you find something that's good, sometimes you find something that is not that great. Well, today, I am happy to announce that I have found a gem, a rose among the thorns, so to speak. I found a cheap little spinning reel on Amazon that actually is really awesome. So this is what I'm talking about right here. This little reel is by a company called Fish Drops. Honestly, I've never heard of this company before, and to be honest, the name Fish Drops sounds kind of like fish droppings, which is not a good look for a company at all. But nevertheless, they do make this little spinning reel right here. This is the size 1000. They have a couple different sizes that kind of vary in price range, but this one right here retails for $28 on Amazon. Now, when I initially unboxed this thing, I was actually pretty impressed impressed with the overall build quality. One of the main things that stood out to me is this thing right here. The actual spool is made of aluminum, and as you can see, it's got this really cool kind of honeycomb pattern on it, so that makes this reel, right off the bat, very lightweight. The overall construction of this reel is made of plastic and metal. This is kind of what's expected at this particular price point. You're gonna get some metal parts and some plastic parts, but I gotta say, this reel actually feels pretty decent in the hand. Another thing I really like about this reel is the actual grip. It's actually got a really nice, meaty, kind of bulbous grip right here. It feels really comfortable and it's great when you're reeling. Just to compare real quick, this is another cheap reel from Amazon. Take a look at the actual grip. It's very, very thin, and I found this grip to be particularly awkward and hard to hang on to when you're reeling. This one, not the case. Like I said, it feels very, very nice in the hand, and it's great to grip when you're reeling. The bail on this reel also feels pretty nice. It flips open easily enough and clicks back into position. When it comes to the overall smoothness of this reel, I would give it about a seven out of 10. I can hear a little bit of rubbing if I listen very, very close, but overall, I'd say it's pretty decent. Again, this is not a high-end reel. It's a $30 reel, so I'm not expecting $100 performance. And for the price, I'd say the reel sounds pretty decent. If you keep it oiled and you keep it well-maintenanced, it's gonna last you a decent amount of time. Because this reel is of a smaller size, I went ahead and paired it up with a nice little ultralight setup. This is a Shakespeare micro series rod. You can pick them up at Walmart. They're fairly inexpensive. And I have to say this little reel paired up with this ultralight rod makes a nice little combination. It feels really good in the hand, feels lightweight, and it's got some functionality to it. But enough jabbering about this reel. Let's actually take it out on the water and try to catch some fish with it and see how it performs. Alrighty guys, so today I'm gonna be out here fishing the canal, as you can see right here. Very cool little spot that I found, I think last year. Uh, it definitely has fish in it, some bass, some bluegill, and carp. So we're gonna give it a shot. I have this little cheap fish drops reel right here, paired up on a Shakespeare micro series ultralight rod. I uh, have eight pound test on this thing and a tiny little jig. And the great thing about this combo is that it allows me to throw a tiny little jig a significant distance. So I can make nice long casts with this tiny little jig and I'm able to maintain a level of stealth that I think will come in handy because uh, right now the water's fairly clear, the water is still a little bit cold, and a lot of the fish in here are a little bit skittish. So having that finesse approach should hopefully get us bit. You gotta watch these rocks right here. It's a great way to twist your ankle and to cause a mini landslide in the process. Ah, man, these rocks are no joke. Here we go, got one. Go to fishy. All right, nice bass right here. In the canal, <laughs> tiny little bass in the canal. That was on the fish drops reel right there. Here we go, another one. Ooh. Feisty little bugger, I'll tell you that. Nice. Bam. Another little fish. 
on the swim bait. There we go. Fish. Ooh. All right, not a bass this time. A little green sunfish. Beautiful. See you, buddy. Oh, got him right there. Another bass. A little bit tiny, but I'll take him. See you, buddy. Got one right there. Another one. Little bass. Boom. About the same size as the last one. Steady boy. Whew. Starting to kill him back in here. There we go. Ooh, big fish. Big fish. Ooh, dude, that's a carp. No way. Ha! That is not a... Uh, that is not what I was expecting. Look at that. A carp on a jig. That's very rare, or fairly rare, I should say. Alrighty. Good deal. Sweet. Well guys, that was a surprise. I was not expecting to get a carp on a little jig right there, but I absolutely did. I tell you what, that was a ton of fun on that little ultralight setup right there. That is really cool. Fantastic. That was a surprise catch. That was great. I have to say guys, on this little ultralight setup right here, and this little jig, that was a blast. Well guys, as you saw, I had a great time out of the canal today. I caught a number of fish, uh, nothing huge, but we had a lot of fun and we even caught a nice carp, uh, which I was not expecting to catch at all. And I have to say, this little rod held up very, very well. In fact, I kind of fell in love with this little setup when I was out there fishing the canal today. I mean, I was able to bomb a tiny little jig very, very far, and like I mentioned, that's what I think helped me to catch those fish today. For those of you wondering what lure I actually used today, I used this little thing right here. This is a tiny little mimic minnow, and this bait did very, very well. I'll have a full video on this bait coming very, very soon. But yeah, if you want to pick up this bait, uh, check out the links in the description. It's a fire little bait. Now, if you watch this channel for any period of time, you may notice that I love to go find obscure little fishing spots and try to catch fish with them. I love to hike back into the middle of nowhere and find little creeks and ponds that nobody really has access to. And the fact that this reel is so inexpensive means I can take it along. And generally speaking, my creek fishing setups get beaten up so much faster than my bass fishing setups because again, I'm hiking back into hard to get places and there's mud and there's sand and there's trees, I break rods. So having an inexpensive setup like this definitely makes it a lot more affordable for me. I can beat this thing to Kelly's, I can uh, you know pack it in a backpack, I can break it down and it's very lightweight. If you guys are interested in purchasing this reel and this particular rod, check out the Amazon affiliate links down in the description. If you buy through those links, I get a little bit of kickback and it actually helps me to keep making videos and it supports what I do here on the channel. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this where I buy a cheap reel from Amazon and test it out, let me know down in the comments below. I actually have a couple more uh, back here that I'm currently testing out, so hopefully there'll be videos coming on them as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.